Virgo. This will happen in the next 48 hours for July the 17th through July the 18th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Virgo for July the 17th through July the 18th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Virgo for July the 17th through July the 18th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Virgo for July the 17th through July the 18th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. Virgo, you need to repent and get your life together. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Virgo, these are your cards, honey. So, Virgo, you have the Hierophant. Could be dealing with a Taurus, but the Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone of wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. So Virgo, could be dealing with a Taurus. You guys may be in a commitment. Someone may have commitment on the brain here. This can be about forgiveness. This can be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, religious differences, or values. Clarify the Hierophant for Virgo. Clarify the Hierophant for Virgo. Clarify the Hierophant for Virgo. It is clarified with the Eight of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. This is you detaching emotionally, feeling emotionally drained, and just walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. So listen, Virgo, you can tell me that you're walking away, detaching emotionally. But when we're dealing with the Eight of Cups, this is someone who's leaving in search of their Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment. And oftentimes they find that the grass is not greener on the other side, so they end up returning. So you could be walking away or returning. Now, Virgo, listen, you could be walking away from some type of institution, organization, governmental agency, work or business. You could be walking away from a commitment. However, you could be returning and forgiving here or returning to a commitment virgo you have the ace of wands aries leo or sag this is a brand new passionate creative endeavor now this can be the spark of a new idea this can be some type of exciting passionate communication exciting passionate action but this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate so brand new passionate beginnings so Virgo, you can tell me that you have the spark of a new idea. Could be initiating something here. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or starting a passionate new beginning. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Virgo. <clears throat> Clarify the Ace of Wands for Virgo. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Virgo. It is clarified with the Nine of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you saying with, without, or in spite of anyone. I alone in my own right am abundant, self-sufficient, independent, and single. I'm single. So Virgo, you can tell me that you're independently abundant on your own or you're single. Now Virgo, you can tell me that you're initiating maybe walking away and you just want to be single could be initiating something in the justice system to become single virgo you can tell me that you're single because they started a passionate new beginning you could also tell me that you're single because you know you guys had a heated discussion or argument this is the reason why you walked away you could also tell me that 
could be initiating something to deal with your practicality and your abundance here. Maybe you're walking away from work or business or some type of institution. Virgo, you have the Nine of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment, but this can also speak to you feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. So Virgo, you can tell me that you're getting your wish, could be feeling smug or overindulging, trying to numb out. Clarify the Nine of Cups for Virgo. Clarify the Nine of Cups. For Virgo, clarify the Nine of Cups. For Virgo, it is clarified with the magician. <laughs> Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And you have all the tools and resources available to you to manifest whatsoever you will. You have the earth element, the water element, the air element, the fire element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, you can manifest. So Virgo, could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to make something happen here. Clarify the magician for Virgo. Clarify the magician for Virgo. Clarify the magician for Virgo. It is clarified with the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development and freedom. Could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're happy, you want to be happy, you're over the moon, or something was illuminated, something came to light. Clarify the sun for Virgo. Clarify the sun for Virgo. Clarify the sun for Virgo. It is clarified with the two of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So Virgo, very well could be dealing with your soulmate here. But this can also be in an agreement. Now, Virgo, you can tell me that you're happy because you manifest some type of an agreement. Maybe you initiated something here for your abundance, Virgo. But Virgo, I want to know if it's your wish. You want to be happy with this person. Are you initiating something where you would no longer be single? You're returning because you want to go into a commitment with this person? Or you're telling me that you're trying to manifest something coming out about this person. I don't know if you're trying to expose them. Virgo, you have the Seven of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options. But all of these options aren't viable. Now, this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions. But having many options. So, Virgo, you can tell me that you're all up in your head fantasizing. You can tell me that there's some confusion. You can tell me that you need to make a choice. You can tell me that there was lies and illusions or the fact that someone had other options and explore some of those other options. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Virgo. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Virgo. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Virgo. It is clarified with the Ten of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So Virgo, listen, someone very well may have commitment on the brain, but in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Now Virgo, you can tell me that you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics may be ending because of some type of lies or illusions or the fact that they had other options and explore some of those other options. Or Virgo, are you all up in your head fantasizing about commitment here? Are you returning to initiate something with this person concerning commitment and no longer being single? Virgo, you have the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone. Demanding truth, demanding clarity, speaking your truth, spewing facts, 
with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So Virgo, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight, someone getting to the bottom of something. Why your cards keep falling? Clarify the Knight of Swords for Virgo. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Virgo. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Virgo. It is clarified with the Ten of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is you feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a 10, so this is an ending, an ending in betrayal. So Virgo, you're feeling a sense of betrayal, let down, and devastation here. However, in tarot, 10s are ending, so you could be coming up out of feeling a sense of betrayal. Hmm. So Virgo, are you confronting this person over some type of betrayal? Something's being illuminated about this person. And you also want to expose something about this person. This betrayal very well could be because of lies and illusions or the fact that they had other options. That they started a passionate new beginning somewhere else. And this is the reason why you're walking away. Because you can't forgive right now. Or you're walking away from a commitment with this person. I'm going to take a look at the twin flames exposed for you and your partner Virgo. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. And it says, I had a lot of doubts about us because I knew I was doing wrong. I had a lot of doubts about us because I knew I was doing wrong. I'm going to also take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you and your partner, Virgo. And it says, so many things remind me of you. So many things remind me of you. Virgo, this will happen in the next 48 hours for July the 17th through July the 18th, 2024. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.